In this video, I will show you how to apply narrative theory to the film that you've chosen to analyse. When doing your film analysis, you have three options. You can write it as an essay on Word, you can do a PowerPoint, or you can do a video essay. The first thing that you need to do is just briefly explain what narrative is in one or two sentences. Next, you want to explain what the free act structure is and to help you there are links in the description which will explain this to you. Now you may be aware of point example explain but on this course we're going to use something called technique example explain and I'll go through this throughout the video. So what you're going to do is you're going to apply your example to act one of the free act structure. So explain the technique of a setup, give an example from your film and explain how that affects the audience Then do the same with inciting incident do the same again with the debate and the turning point so if we apply act one to my film we are introduced to Jonathan Harker he goes to see Dracula and the inciting incident is when he meets a female vampire who bites him so Jonathan Harker decides he must destroy Count Dracula and the turning point at the end of Act 1 is Jonathan Harker is actually defeated by Dracula. So again, you're going to explain each of these techniques. You will provide an example from your film and explain the meaning or the effect that has on the audience. In my example, the rising action is when Van Helsing begins to investigate the disappearance of Jonathan Harker. And the midpoint is where Harker's sister is turned into a vampire. And then Dracula then goes after another female character and it looks like she's going to be turned to a vampire as well, so all is lost. But then there is a new plan to chase Dracula and to rescue this new victim. So like before, you will apply your example to Act 3 and you will explain the technique of the climax and you do the same again for the denouement. So the climax in my example is when Van Helsing destroys Dracula and the denouement is when Dracula is destroyed and Arthur Homer's wife is returned back to normal so she's no longer turning into a vampire. The next theory you're going to use is propped character theory. So what you want to do is just explain this theory in one or two sentences before applying it to your film. Again, if you look at the links in the description, you will see some videos explaining this theory to you. If we just apply this to my film, we think in the beginning that the hero is Jonathan Harker, but actually turns out to be Van Helsing. Now the villain's quite easy, that is Dracula. The princess is Mina, she has to be rescued. The helper is Arthur, he helps Van Helsing on his journey to destroy Dracula. Now the donor is also Van Helsing. Because he knows about Dracula and vampires, he knows what needs to be done. The dispatcher is Dr. Seward. Without him, he wouldn't have called on Van Helsing to come investigate. And the false hero is Lucy because she's a sweet innocent character but then she's turned into a vampire and begins stalking her own victims. There are other narrative theories that you can apply to your film such as Levi Strauss's binary oppositions, the monomyth which is also known as the hero's journey, there's Todorov's equilibrium theory, and there's also Boss enigma and action codes. In the next video I will show you how to do a texture analysis of a key scene from the film you've chosen to analyse. You'll look at both visual codes, technical codes, and you'll also look at the representations of characters.